I have to say, while you've been talking to us, I'm looking at all the tweets and texts coming in. Everyone is loving this chat, apart from a uh, Unai Emery. Um, why? Why, <laughs> am I, why would he say that? Why am I at the end of the game yesterday? Why are you two not speaking? No, no, we are. Uh, well, as far as I'm aware, we are speaking. What there's, happened? What happened? Uh, obviously, there was a lot of added time played, um, and my team were down to ten men. So um, twelve minutes went up, which was obviously like, oh, twelve is a lot, especially when you're down to ten men, and then. We, got, we went past 12 and we got to 14. So there's obviously, I'm emotional at that point. And then Unai Emery's, Aston Villa are a whip for the post away from winning the game. So there's, there's obviously emotion in him at that moment. And, and I was moaning at the fourth official for how long we'd played. And Unai was keen to get down the tunnel. So there was a, a small exchange of words around whether he should have waited or not. And, and then we just, yeah, didn't shake hands. But as, I, I'm absolutely fine with Unai Do you speak Emery. to him after? Fun. I saw him in a tunnel after. Everything was fine. There's no... Yeah, no, no, yeah, it's just one of those things. My favourite so, but... part about that was when you're waiting for him, waiting, and eventually he sort of jested and you went, oh, don't worry about it, and gave it the old forget it. <laughs> like, you know, like yeah, at three o'clock in the morning... I can't remember we... the exact detail of it. And I, I'm sure people like you would find it very uh, entertaining <laughs> and amusing, but uh, it was it was a lot of nothing, really. Everything was fine. Well, he had a chance. He had more than his fair share of chance to shake your hand. And, and maybe on me for not keeping him waiting, you know, but... I, as I said afterwards, I, I've been kept waiting and I normally just wait. I understand that they might want to discuss something with a fourth official and I just wait. But if, if Unai didn't want to, then then no problem. I think, um, yeah, we're, we're all fine. G- Gaz, you speak about emotion. Well, listen, after the international break, there's going to be a game coming up, Bournemouth away, where I'm sure your emotions are going to be all over the place. How are you feeling going into that fixture? Mm-hmm. Just another game, mate. Uh, <laughs> that one is it. Of course it is. Yeah, of course it is. Another opportunity for us to put some points on the board. Um, disappointed that we lose Mario and uh, Nelson Samedo. We're both, um, obviously, Mario got his fifth yellow, but then got a red as well. So he misses it. And then um, Nelson got his fifth yellow. Uh, so disappointed that we won't be going there completely full strength. Um, but let's make sure spoke to the lads before they went make sure you train well for two weeks make sure you keep your levels up make sure we come back without any injuries um, because we've got a big run of games coming so Bournemouth comes first and then another tough home game with Newcastle coming Um, but yeah you know when you played going back to your old team there was always a little extra Mm. extra attached to it but you know it's, it's another three points that are available for us and I'm on the manager of Wolverhampton massive club that I feel privileged to be at. So, mm. yeah, no, nothing nothing extra on it for me. Well, listen, Gary, um, genuinely from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for coming on our show. As I said, we get excited when people in football come on and uh, even more so with current Premier League managers. Very kind of you. You know we're huge, me and Ben are huge fans of yours. We always sing praises. When you're at Bournemouth, uh, now you're at Wolves and Wolves are my dad's side, so they're very, very close to my heart. So congratulations on the job you're doing. Keep up the wonderful work and thank you so much for your time. Thanks, guys. I'll catch up with you soon. Nice Thanks, one, guys. Talk Sport Drive, super opinionated sporting debate, Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.